Hello, citizens of Autodale. This public service announcement is following ludicrous concerns and whisperings we've been hearing of late. Silly claims of monsters, of unsightly and loathsome things living within our city. There are no monsters here, citizens. Not in Autodale. The great walls of Autodale are as impenetrable as the very handymen who stand upon them. Nothing gets in, nothing gets out. Remember, citizens, Autodale is our home. Autodale is protected. And Autodale is safe. Friendly Shadow, do try to stay out of trouble this time. Save it. Let me in. Saving it. Talkative as ever, Shadow. Letting you in. Ive, what do we know? Not a lot. Screaming was heard. A man. Two handymen were attracted to the scene, and, as you can see, all three were obliterated. It would seem we have another breach. So another freak gun? It would seem so. Whatever it was, it tore through a fighting fit young man and two fully functional handymen. The latter of which the mayor was not very pleased to hear. Pillars of protection and all that. We can't have them be seen in pieces, can we? The victim. Is this his home? Yes. He belongs to a family of five. His wife and two sons hid in the house during the ruckus, and they're waiting for you inside. The couple's third child, though, their daughter, she was in the thick of it. And she's missing. She doesn't draw it like a monster. Her parents, though. Oh, my. Please forgive them. I was scared of you too when I was a kid. In all the comic books and films, I mean. You're not so scary in person. You look different without the coat. Right. Ma'am, can you tell me anything about what happened? What did you see? Nothing. I took the boys and we ran. We hid in the house. Okay. My youngest thinks he saw it. He only caught a glimpse of the thing. And I, I know it's silly, but this, it looked like this. At least the handymen put up some fight. Shadow, we know very little about these creatures. Even with one so wounded, do be careful. I've, there's a little girl down there. I think we oh, should... Bless your little heart. Please do not let your tabloid heroics delude your purpose, Shadow. The child is dead. You're here to... Hive. This isn't one of your cartoons, Shadow. There aren't always happy endings. The girl is not your priority. 
What we need from you is that beast, whatever is left of it, that is. Right. If your daughter's alive, I will bring her back. She'll be joining her brothers, and we'll keep them safe. But... Not you. After what happened here, you're going to be taken away, and you're... I know. My daughter's been taken, and my husband's dead. I... I've... failed. Sorry. Just promise me my daughter will be okay. If your daughter's alive, no. I'll... Promise me she'll be okay after you save her. Promise me she'll be joining her brothers and not me. Please. The promise. You're a lot less scary without the coat. is of more use to us alive. Find the girl.
girl's not the artist hive. She's only been here an hour. This is his room. These are his drawings. Fascinating. There's far more to these creatures than we thought. The kids have been meeting up for weeks. Playing together. Drawing pictures. Until their parents found out. To see the world through this monster's eyes. A rather warped perception of reality, don't you think? She belongs to a now broken family, not to mention being affiliated with gruesome monsters, and is likely traumatized beyond all future societal function. There are no fosters worth this one, Shadow. She will not be joining her brothers, if that's what you're asking. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to break your promise. Right. Get ready, citizens of Autodale, for our shady protector is at it again. You've heard the whisperings, and you've spread your concerns. So Autodale welcomes you now to the Friendly Shadow's latest adventure in this morning's brand new animated special, The Friendly Shadow vs. The Sewer Beast. Stay tuned, or alternatively, tune in tonight to Autodale's number one radio theater drama serial. The Friendly Shadow Adventures, in which our Shady Protector will be ridding our precious city of the gruesome monsters that have been plaguing your worries. But wait, what is this? Your children are busy at the moment and the theater drama extends past their bedtime? No worries. Pick up the latest issue of Otterdale's number one comic book series, Our Shady Protector, number 244. A poor family in ruins, a little girl kidnapped and a terrible monster on the prowl. How will our friendly shadow save the day? Tune into the radio theater drama, the animated cartoon special, or pick up the latest comic book issue to find out. And always remember, citizens, in the famous words of our shady protector himself, Autodale is our home, Autodale is protected, and Autodale is safe. He's a puppet. A puppet we control. we control. And he disobeyed. And he disobeyed. He was following orders. The wrong orders. The wrong. The orders of the girl's mother. Perhaps a simple rewiring. It's a complex question of Western morality. We have to remove the more. We remove too much of his humanity. He might as well be another handyman. This is going too far. Completely defeats his purpose. What little humanity he has left, he's ruining with scotch and cigars! <laughs> Maybe that's just it. He fundamentally doesn't believe in our ways that much. You think he's trying to ruin the little he's allowed to ruin? Rather pathetic, really. It was mere empathy for the pleas of a mother. Her dying wish at that. Nothing we can do. He's still a tad human somewhere. Isn't that the point? No. To change him! We think we can change him for the better. Change him for the better. Mm-hmm. 
Hello, this is David. Thank you so much for watching. This was a lot of work. Special thanks to Liz Lizzie Lizard, Ryan Turpin, Brooke Watson, Ashley, Ninja of Orthank, Sam Milson, Victoria, George Story, Guardian of Energy, Triskelios, Jordan, Elizabeth, Knight of Trousers, Thomas Woderick, Jose Miguel Picasso, Sabrina Kay, Fatima Hernandez, Mr. Badonkadonk, Happy Purple Bird, Clayton Sonnerberg, Matthew Bailey, Chad Thurman, Melissa Spence Wright, Evan Vernon, Dereese, Courtney Sarton, V.I., Waller Slavnov, Carl Eats Hans, Megan Ragiro, Joshua Falgren, John claude Paquin, Caleb Priestner, Devin Miner, I'm Not Alex, Non-Existence, Harry Evett, Neil Patterson, Yochim Andreas Willitson, Shelby Ryder, Maxwell, Kenneth Mundy, Dig Dog, Kane Cruz, Jay Wright, Luke's Grimm, and Maiden of Madness. Jeez, Louise, that took ages. Bye guys.